Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to complete the Tao Yosipin Shrine, which is called Forward or Backward. This shrine can be found all the way at the western edge of Heber Mountains near the Heber West Summit. This shrine makes good use of the recall function as well as Ultra Hand and combines the two at the end. So for this first challenge, you have balls rolling down a ramp. You just want to reverse one of them, and then it will push the other orb out, and then you should be able to just run up the ramp as uh, both of them will fall down the hole, and then they will respawn after that. So you really just have to reach the end before they fall in the hole. For this challenge, I don't know what possessed me to use the Ultra Hand. I think I was just trying to show off my Quake timing or something. I don't really know. But... Uh, you can grab the chest, or you can just reverse the wheel and then have it fall down to you. That's probably the way you should do it. In any event, you get a strong construct bow for your troubles. Sometimes those treasures are random, so let me know what you got if it wasn't that. For the second challenge, we need to close this gate using this switch, and then that will cause an orb to stop at the end. Now, you may be kind of confused because if you rewind that orb, it will simply go back into the spawn chimney... However, what we can do is we can take the orb that's just sitting here, place it behind the one on the ramp, and then reverse the one on the ramp. And then that will push the other one into the bowl. So rewind only affects one object. It will not affect two objects. So that's sort of the way you got to think about that. All right, once you solve that, the door opens, and then you can go on to the third challenge. This one took me the longest to figure out. Uh, but it's actually quite interesting. It teaches you about uh, how momentum carries during rewind. And so you have these orbs falling, going down chutes, and then you may be tempted to try to grab it and throw it in there, but that's not what you have to do. Instead, what you need to do is you need to uh, recall an orb as it's falling down the second chute. So we're going to wait for one here, and then as it's in midair, you want to take out... Recall, rewind it, and then as it's in the midpoint, you want to press L on the controller to disable rewind. That kills all momentum, and it just drops straight down. So we're going to bring that same concept into this fourth and final challenge of the shrine. In the distance here, we have a platform that is moving from corner to corner of this little alcove, and there's a bowl on the platform. So what we need to do is we need to place the bowl in place the orb in the bowl don't use attach you want to just drop it in the bowl once you do that we're gonna let the platform get over to the corner near the bowl and then I'm gonna kind of mess this up a little bit but I'll just you know show you the whole thing this way you kind of get the thought process so you rewind the bowl and then it's gonna get to the corner and then what's going to happen is I'm gonna stop it and it's gonna come back now, what we're gonna do after that is it's gonna come back and then I'm gonna reverse it again. However, I'm going to lift up the orb in an attempt to make it so the orb lifts up again when uh, I hit recall. Now, you don't actually have to do that part. You do not need to do that. Instead, all you have to do is stop the orb when it's over the bowl. And then once you do that, the platform will move away and the orb stays suspended. And then it gets dropped into the bowl. So again, unless an item already has its own momentum, whether it's like rolling down a ramp or like rolling along a platform, when you reverse it, it will move backwards. However, if the item does not have its own momentum, like if it's just sitting in the bowl... When you freeze it, it will just stay where it was. It will not move. So that's like an advanced sort of recall concept that this shrine tests. But that's it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can do so by becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.